Hey, what's up everyone? It's me, Barky, and I'm here with another mod for Rimworld 1.0, but in this mod showcase, I'm not going to go into the game itself. It's actually a mod manager made by Fluffy. Now, if you don't know who Fluffy is, I really recommend you take a look at your mods again, because this man makes amazing, incredible mods. Seriously, I think everything made by Fluffy is a must-have. They should probably add everything. They have already added a lot of the stuff he's made into the base game, but I think they just should with the rest of it. Anyway, so this is the mod manager. I'm going to go ahead and enable it and just restart my game very quickly. Sorry if you got a black screen um, there, but I'm just restarting my game so you can see what the mod manager does. Now, I used to use mod switch, and mod switch is still pretty good, but this blows it completely out of the water. There is no competition at all. You need to see what this mod can do. It is incredibly cool. All right, so we're here. Take a look at the new mod menu that we have. It takes a while to open because I've got like 500 mods. And an error straight away. Thank you. Um, anyways, let's take a look. So this is the new mod menu. Got the Rimhammer 40k mod open here just because it's the um, highest mod. But um, yeah, this is it. It is a bit complex in the beginning. It may be a bit too much to take in. But I recommend just giving it a try anyways. Because this mod allows you to do so many things. You can, with most mod managers by now, you kind of know you can sort of maintain a whole lot of um, different mod selections or mod lists. So as you can see, I've got my mod showcase and I've got stream. And then not only that, but I can load a mod list from a save. So if I want to go back to save, but I can't get the, the game to open up stably, I can do that. And then I can save the current list to something else if I wanted to. So this is just the normal um, mod showcase. So I'll just click on that load mod list. But not only does it allow you to do that, you can also categorize the mod lists you have just in case you run in quite a few and you want to, you know, like color them in. So you can change the list color, change all the mods that you have to a different color. And I can actually show you something pretty similar. So we have auto light switch over here, right? It's a pretty cool, pretty cool, interesting mod if I add it in. So if I add the mod over here, I can go ahead and now just mess around with it. I can change the mod color, change color for this version of auto light switch only change color for all versions of auto light switch because it keeps up with the versions that you have. So I can change it to be, let's just say, with quality of life mods, let's make it a teal. Add it somewhere there. Now you can see, it now has a teal color to it, which is really, really, really dope. Like, it's really dope. But not only that, this mod also detects if your mods cannot open, if they're dependent on each other or something like that. So I've got Jex tools over here, and if you look carefully, I do not have doors expanded. But if I go to the Lord, of the rims mods and load that up it says i have an issue already lord of the rims dwarves depended on depends on doors expanded which is not loaded and doors expanded is obviously a mod that you need to get this going so if i drag this in and then you can see the error goes away which is just absolutely amazing seriously this is absolutely such a crazy cool mod it is so damn cool but not only that you can save all the mods locally if you wanted to so I can create a local copy of these 15 mods, which is a nice way to tell you exactly how many mods you're running to. Um, you can also unsubscribe from all the mods that you want, inactive, outdated, all. So if I wanted to unsubscribe from all my Steam mods, you can. You can do that from the game itself. Then it lets you open up a link to the Ludian forms where you can get other mods if you have the non-DRM version of RimWorld. Or you can open up the Steam Workshop here. And then I think this one, yeah, this one resets it. Very, very cool. <laughs> like, I don't know, man. I, I kind of love this. I, I'm so happy I found it. Um, obviously, I do keep an eye on everything Fluffy puts out because I think that his mods should be in the base game, whatever he makes, dude. He could make a freaking squirrel raid you every single day as a mod, and I would definitely add it into the base game. But that is it for this mod showcase. I don't want to go on too long. Um, I'd recommend you get this. A lot of people are asking me if I recommend mods, if I should say that at the end of my video. I think this is a must-have. In fact, I think this should be part of the base game without a doubt, as I've said before. But anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. I know this is a very short video. I'm working on a whole ton of longer videos that will be coming out soon that focuses on the bigger mods. So please keep an eye out for that. And besides that, have a fantastic day. I will see you all later. Um, and I am streaming a lot more recently, so please, if you want to come and hang out on the streams, feel free. I stream here on YouTube. If you want to know where that happens, check the Discord server. And if you want to be a columnist in one of the streams, just click the join button next to subscribe, support the channel, or don't.
But anyways, thank you guys. Have a fantastic day. See you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hey, thank you very much for making it to the end of the video. It's really, really awesome of you. I've got a Discord server that's free for all to join if you'd like to come and have a chat with me or anyone else. And I've also opened up a Patreon page to help fund my videos. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and take a look at the description. Have a great day and thank you very much for watching.